I'm Mark Saxton. I'm Joey Kendi. This is Blue Collar Sports Talk. Hey, sometimes the uh, on the drives a little slow. Yeah, a little bit, a little, little bit. bit. Um, as as always, this episode is brought to you by FHC Insurance Auto Home and Life. Remember, give Chris a call and let him know that the, the good, good old, old boys at Blue Collar sent you. Sent you. You can reach him at 928-524-3754 or 3760. Well, if you never get a policy. Get a policy. Give him a policy. Get a policy. Policy. That being said, um, it's been a week. It has been a week of many great things of which I will I will admit defeat in the pickums this week because it has been such a great week. And you guys will find out very much nope. soon. It's ah. Modelo time, fool. It's Modelo time, fool. Cheers. And let's talk year. some shit. Let's talk some shit. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's going to be a shit-talking New Year. I hope, I hope that you guys spend the rest of 2022 talking shit with the good old boys. Because that blue collar. It's about to <clears throat> a blow up. Just like a Jacksonville. That's right. You know? You know what I mean? Amen. Amen. A woman. Just like the Washington football team's rails. Yes, they blew. They blew out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the speaking of the Washington football team, the Admirals. It's leaked. If you type in as of right now, type it in Washington, Washington Admirals. It brings up the Washington football team page. So leaked possibly. I still ballsy prediction. I still think they're going to be Washington football team. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. I hope so. They I can't hope. get their shit together. No, I hope they're still Washington football team, but they relocate to Seattle, Washington. I don't know if I'd like that. That would be hilarious. I don't know. No, but that would be hilarious, Washington football team in Seattle. I don't want to hate two teams in, in, in Washington. But State. what's there to like about Washington? Nothing. Nothing. The Kraken's unis. That is very true. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to let's these Let's get to huh? the pick I'll let you lead it off. Spoiler alert. I'm winning. Yeah. Go ahead and give him the score there. Yeah, it's a 144 to 145, so quite the lead, but even a broken clock is right twice a day. Hey, you're just that much closer to that Jalen Hurts you need. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> so what we're uh, we're just going to go ahead and get right into rush it, hour, huh? huh? Blue collar oh, rush yes. hour. yes. What a weekend for sports. It was not quite the weekend out in Buffalo. I'll go ahead and lead us lead off us there. Lead us off there. Um, Buffalo won 29 to 15. My Big boy. Surprise. Yeah, my boy Josh Allen. Almost got himself the liability of the week. I still think he might need a policy for the policy. He went 11 to 26, 120 yards, and not one, uh, not two, uh, but a three interceptions. And Oops. Devin Singletary, yeah, a lot of oopsies. But Devin Singletary said, uh-uh, Josh. Say, hey, fool. Get on my back. I said, ah, let's go. I'm the workhorse. Not quite, but almost. Almost. 23 carries, 110 yards, and two of them dangs. And then Stefan, little brother, digs. Even though he's the older brother. Yeah, well. They're both little brothers this I week. I saw something today. What? Trayvon? Mm-hmm. He's like... The Jameis Winston of quarterbacks. But, but, but <laughs> at the same time, you'd rather have a Jameis Winston at quarter or cornerback than quarterback. Agreed. Because people are, you know, people be, okay, you know what, side rant, people are shitting on Trayvon. Oh, his 11 interceptions, but he allows this many yards. Yeah, where's the safety help half the time? Hey, I just want to okay? throw out there. And, and, I just want to throw out there, you know who has the lowest amount of yards who? against him? Who? And, or sorry, the lowest QB rating against him? Who? Rasul Douglas of the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, okay. Corner. Well, yeah, well, because people forget he's over there and he's on their Fourth string wide receivers, so that happens. A win's a win, my boy. A win is a win. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> Trayvon is getting them picks. He's playing aggressive. That's what the Cowboys needed. They went from being the worst defense in arguably NFL history last year to now hosting a playoff game. Yeah. Give him props. Yeah. I, I Eleven do. picks. Uh, Micah Parsons a big deal though. Yeah. He is a big deal. Um, you know who's not a big deal? Matty Ice. Not playing Matty Nice. No, not at all. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Uh, 13 to 23, ouch. 197 yards. It's a good first half. Maybe a first quarter. If we're talking like the Rose Bowl or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mike Davis, eight carries, 42 yards, one touchdown. Kyle Pitts, two receptions. You ready? 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 I'm here. 69 yards. Let's not gain some. It's 69. Get nice. It. All right, go ahead and uh, 
fetch me the bear score. Oh my goodness. We are uh, we're looking at twenty nine. Okay. So not one, not two, but three over there in the good old big blue. Baby blue. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with the winning side. The red rocket making an appearance again. Mm. 18 of 30. <laughs> Happens from time to time. <laughs> 18 of 35. 173 yards. A tutty and a mistake. That's right. Montgomery. What a big game. What a big game. Um, uh, 22 well, players. 64 yards. Mm. But he did get in that painted area twice. He got it in twice. That's right. Hey, when the red rocket fails. Hey. Oh, it twice. Putting it in. Putting it in. Mooney, seven receptions, 69 yards, and a tutty. Nice. Oh, it's going to be backwards numbers. for the camera. Let's, I just realized that. <laughs> Let's go to the neck. The neck, Glennon? Glennon, four. Ready for this? Of 11. Okay. 24 yards. Okay, wait, wait. That's that's a that's an, you know, an okay first opening drive. Mm-hmm. What else? And two picks. Oh, no. Yeah, he had a bad day. Oh, no. Uh, Saquon, 21 Saquon? carries, 102 yards. And that's the field he tore his ACL on. So good on you for uh, coming back. Ready to see who led the receiving core. Oh, my Lord. Ingram. With the whopping? One reception. Okay. And it had to be like 12 yards. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he got a first down. Ultimately, who cares? You know who cares? Take me Nobody. to Joey Beville. Okay. And, and uh, uh, folks, I stuck with Joey B. I did. I Joey hopped, did not stick with Joey B. Hopped off the McTrain. I got off old Joe Burr. Joe Shiesty. Shit tag. Oh, no. I forgot to say sweet. It's okay. You did. And would have. Oh, goodness gracious. We're in for a long show tonight. <laughs> that is okay. Here's to my boy, Joe Burr. I still love you, Joe Burr. Even though I didn't uh, did a, pick you. Wait, Pat Mahomes. We'll start with old Patty. They lost 34-31. to 31. It was a close game. Uh, 26-35, to 35, 259 yards, two touchdowns. Williams, 14 carries, 88 yards, and two of them things. He is 37 yards away from a 1,000-yard season. Start him? No. Nah. Over Edwards? No. Me is sitting everybody. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant. And then Nicole Hardman, one reception, 53 yards. Now let's get to Joe Burr smoking a stogie. I'm smoking a cheap one. Don't worry, I got the expensive one in the back seat. <laughs> he went 30 and 39, 446 yards, and four touchdowns. On the last two games, he has over 900 yards and eight touchdowns. That's my boy, get Joe Burr. In. Joe mix match, COVID attack. He got it this week. 12 carries, 46 yards, and now he Everybody. is sat but a little better. Now Jamar, you chasing him down the mm. field. Mm. 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 Just, hey. just hug him down there. Jamar down there somewhere. I was thinking, you know, I was looking at the Kansas City Chiefs defense, and I was like, man, they're doing a lot of ass staring. Mm. Yeah. yeah, A whole lot. It looked like I walked into, like, a diner, an old man diner, you know, like – uh, at the waitress, that poor waitress, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. and they they old fashioned, so they leave a one dollar tip, and they think that's that's very that's sufficient. Sufficient, no, these people are trying to eat too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, take me to Tennessee. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me what Jamar did. Oh my bad. <laughs> he didn't tell me what he did. He did I a whole lot of things. I mean, I seen it. You seen it. I want to hear about it. Eleven receptions. 266 yards and not one. Not but two, two. But three of them. Now take me to Tennessee because obviously I am the only. So how would you. And you <laughs> see. I hate you. Now how would you feel if you mm-hmm. hadn't lost the game since Halloween? Okay. Or I'm sorry. Before Halloween. I'd say that's very scary. Okay. Okay. And then you and lose. And we're not talking Terry. And then you lose by 31 points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you get eliminated all on the same day. You know, I'd say that is Tua turning the franchise over and then turning it right back <laughs> over. That's right. Thirty-four to three in favor of the Titans. Okay, talk to me. Let's talk, talk with me. Tua. Eighteen of thirty-eight, two hundred five yards and a pick. There's a problem. And did you see that fumble? Mm-hmm. Did you see that fumble? Yeah, his hands. Uh, you know. <clears throat> You know, uh, the same hands as your pops. He measured it the one day because he was talking some shit. And I was like, okay, hey. And he's like, okay, well, I got old. I'm like, hey, that's not what happens when you get old. But I think I could grasp an NFL football a little bit better than him. <laughs> Just for the record, Mark. Let's move it on. Duke the Nuke Johnson. Seven carries, 49 yards. The only nuke that happened was on the Dolphins sideline. They can say in the Browns. <laughs> uh, Jacecki, four receptions, 51 yards. Ultimately, who cares? 
Going to Ryan Tannehill, 13 of 18, uh, had it in 20 yards and two tutties. Didn't, it, it, I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it but got it's a very Ryan Tannehill. Right. Form in 26 carries, 132 yards and a tutty. Big day for him. That's right. A.J. Brown, two receptions and 41 yards. Why don't you take me to Indy? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fly there. <laughs> We're gonna take the carpool, which neither of us did, no, we and we both should have. We both picked the Colts. Hey, we rubbed that lucky. Yeah, did not have felt the, same the carpool way. went ah! clobbered all over. Derek Carr, 24-31, 255 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Not worth the victory, but they won 23 they to did 20. Enough. They did enough. Josh Jacobs has just about as much carries as baby mama's 16 of them things. <laughs> 63 yards and a touchdown. Surprisingly, we took... I just thought of something. What? Carpool, DUI, maybe the Raiders should listen to us. <laughs> yeah, I'm on to something. Yeah. Hey, uh, John... Not John Gruden. I'm so sorry. Whoever the madman is yeah. coaching yeah. these... These boys, tell them to watch Blue Collar Sports yeah. and stay in the motherfucking cop. But Ooh. also, call Chris. He yeah, yes, yes. You guys are the liability of the season, the season. man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On that note, another wide receiver destined for a DUI, Mr. Z. I believe it is Zay. Yes, yeah, Zay Jones. Eight receptions, 120 yards. Let's go to Carson Wentz. Ooh, and boy, um, good for a first half. 16 to 27, 148 yards and one touchdown. Okay, okay. Jonathan Taylor got his first loss with over 100 mm-hmm. yards, mm-hmm. and that comes with 20 carries, 108 yards and one touchdown. And Michael Pittman Jr., six receptions, 47 yards. He's proven to be Carson Wentz's favorite receiver. The only problem is Carson Wentz does not throw it to his receivers he very often. He doesn't. Dumps it off. Dumps it, dumps it, dumps it. Talk to me about a dumping of a game. Okay, 50 yes. to 10 Okay. in favor of the Pats over the Jags. Okay, I thought you were going to say Alabama <laughs> over Cincinnati this weekend, but it's basically the same it basically damn thing. Is. Let's start with the losing side, old sunshine, Mr. Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm talking about not, not Johnny Lawrence. Not and Cobra Kai, Lord. but we are talking about Mr. Sunshine, Sunshine. Trevor oh, cloudy Lawrence. Cloudy day. He is the cloudy day. He is. Seconds you know a better, Lawrence. We'll get into <laughs> we that. Do. We will. We'll get to that. We'll address that soon. 17 of 27, 193 yards, a tutty, and not one, and not two, two but three, and a big interceptions. Mistakes. Okay, help me out. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> First name. Da, dare, dire, dare, dare, D A R E K, dare. Your turn. Bawali. Ogin Bawali. That's I like it. Ogin Bawali. Nine carries and 36 yards. Yeah. Treadwell, six receptions and 87 yards. Okay. But let's go with the Mac and Attack, Party Pack, Heart Attack, Jones. Oh, I thought you were going to say Mac Jones. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, My bad. But you got 22 of 30, 227 yards, and not one, and not two, but three of them tutties. Okay, Stevenson, 19 carries, 107 yards, and two times in that painted area. And let's go to Bourne, five receptions and 76 yards. Ultimately, a huge day. Huge, 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 huge. <laughs> very huge, very huge. Uh, why don't you take me to another interesting game? You know, when you just don't feel like fucking showing up, fuck it, man. <laughs> hey, not once have I felt this way over here, though. Let me tell you what. That's right. We enjoy being able to come. Hey, and like Danny Woodhead said, hey, we in, we DM'd you on Instagram. Go ahead and uh, open hey, it. He his, opened it. Hit his back. He seen it. He seen it. He had a funny today. Yeah. I believe it was Danny Woodhead. I didn't see who was saying it, but he said, hey, if I did what A.B. did, I would have been wearing some skimpy underwear, getting the crowd something to see. That's what I'm talking about. Give him a show. Give him a show. Now give us a show. (laughs) Anyways, you know who did put on a show? The Tampa Bay at Jets. The Jets were winning this for a long time. Most of the game. And I was hoping they would, but at the same time I wouldn't because that would mean an automatically lose rookie. 
Right in with the rookie. Which I think we both lost. No, be honest. No. Let's be no. honest. Okay. Tampa Bay won 20 to 24. We're just going to fly by this quick because we got some other topics to talk That's about. Right. It's called Antonio Brown. So Thomas Edward- Everington the <laughs> third. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, he can. <laughs> he just murdered that man. 34 of 50, 410 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. And Vaughn? Ooh. Vaughn? Ooh. Vaughn? Ooh. Put in work? Maybe like part time. Maybe a little bit. Part time at like a startup company. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, eight carries, thirty-one yards. You know, you, you kind of relate. Putting in some hours. Yeah, Gronk, the I Donk, Kowski. Having a day. Seven receptions, and he went a football field and fifteen yards. Mm. Mm. Love it, Zach, Mister Wilson. We haven't said that in a while, and it's good to see you back, baby. Let's go. Yeah, he uh, didn't have an interception in this game. So I'm talking about very odd. 19 of 33, 234 yards, and one of them bangs. Mr. Michael Carter, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Three carries, 54 yards, huge carries. And then Braxton putting the Barrios. Barrios on it. Eight receptions, 65 yards, and a touchdown, I'm sure. And he almost had another touchdown. He got tripped up right at the line. Or right, right before right he right got the goal through. line, yeah. Not goal line, but like. Yeah. Scrimmage. Yeah, he, he would have had a touchdown. Go ahead, take me to the field of FedEx where everything is falling. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't talk about AB. Real quick, touch on AB. Real quick. Does he have a future in the NFL? No. No. Okay. And, and, and real quick, real quick, just if I can touch on it, real quick. Go ahead, touch on I it. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Yeah, Go ahead. I Go don't ahead. understand why everybody keeps saying, like, yeah, he can make it, he can, he can still make an impact on the game. All these teams are going to want him. If that's the case, then how come not everyone was biting when yeah. he left the Steelers? Yeah. Not everyone was biting he when left he the left Raiders. the Raiders. Not everyone was biting when he left the Pats. Let's face it, he is not wanted. He's got issues. Now, this might be an inside joke. Maybe not an inside joke, but you got to think about it for a second. Antonio Brown got cold feet with the Raiders. Mm-hmm. He did. Because he got frostbite. Yes, he did. His feet. Yes, he did. And that's what he gets for flying into practice with a helicopter. <laughs> Fucking helicopter. What are you thinking, man? <laughs> Speaking of what are you thinking of, what's your, what's your new name? <laughs> the Washington Foreskins? <laughs> I've been saying that since I was a kid. Yeah. Mama yeah. raises Saints. savage. Sainsies. All right. Eagles taking it to him. 20 to 16 over the Washington Admirals? Football team? Football team? Red Wolves? Redskins? No. We don't not know. that we one. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Let's start with the losing side. Unfortunately, Heine, the Heineke. Mm-hmm. Okay, 27 of 36, 247 yards and an interception. Yep. Bad day at the office. But Patterson, 12 carries, 57 yards and a tutty. An okay day. And, and scary. Terry. Terry. The only thing scary about Terry that day was his stats. Only seven receptions and 61 yards. That is scary. It's very unlike. Yes, Terry. I miss my sweets. Mm. This is not very sweet. <laughs> if I smoke one of them, Let's move it on sweets. down the line. Huh? Tell me where it hurts. Jalen Hurts, 17 of 26, 215. Plus one good Samaritan. Samaritan. And he's got the good person award this weekend. Mm-hmm. 214 yards total. Nothing else to talk about. Is that about. the first time that ever happened in Philly? Probably I mean, plays Rocky. No. That's, that's fake. But was he a good person? Yeah, I agree. I think he was. Yeah. Jalen, you're up there with Rocky. Good for you, bud. Yeah. You made it. Yeah, Philadelphia on something good for once. For once. And remember, Philly was throwing snowballs at Santa. Yeah. Dicks. <laughs> Scott, 14 carries, 47 yards, and two tutties. Tell me about Mr. But Mr. Goddard. What's his first name? Dallas. That's what I thought. Six receptions and 71 yards. <clears throat> and one major win for one the Eagles. major. I don't remember where the Cowboys come into it. Uh, some Ravens no, next. No, we got some time. Okay. Yep, so take me to old Baltimore. Baltimore almost took it to... The uh, city ain't the only thing falling apart over there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness. I think it's been a little while since all that happened. <laughs> but it's still, it's, still, it's still a part. It's still a part. <laughs> you know, it's not a part of this team, Lamar, right now. Mm, that hurts. Mm-hmm. That hurts. Um... Uh, Rams beat them 20 to 19. I guess good job, Rams. Uh, Huntley, backup quarterback, just in case you didn't know. Yep. Shit, he, he could find himself a nice little job here soon. Yeah. 20 to 32, 197 yards on one pick. Devonta Freeman, 14 carries, 76 yards. Who cares? Mark Andrews, six receptions, 89 yards. He did break the receiving record good for him for the Ravens. He's he deserves. He's been fighting all year. He has. 
No, the staff infection. Mm-hmm. Passing mm. it around. He did have two touchdowns, but he also had two interceptions. One was a touchdown for the Ravens. Yes, it was. Uh, he did go 25 at 35, 309 yards. I do not trust Matt Stafford. Do you think the Rams have any kind of resentment giving that much up for him? It was. I mean, Jared I guess Goff honestly, honestly, I, I I don't think they'll have their mind made up until they see how the season finishes for him. That's if it's true. a one and done thing, absolutely. If he goes a couple, depending on how they lose, probably. If they win a Super Bowl, probably let's not, not. Let's not forget they they went to a Super Bowl with Mr. Goff. They did. So that is his uh, requirement is to at least win. make it. Right. Sony Michelle, 19 carries, 74 yards, one touchdown, and Cooper, two girls, one cup, six receptions, 95 yards, and one touchdown. Getting it done. Getting it done. He's gonna get that receiving record yeah. by default. And did you see what he said about it? what he said about it? He doesn't agree with it. Oh, because he's yeah. He's like, look, I got an extra game. Those guys didn't. They did mm. less. Speaking of that, the sack record coming up. T.J. Watt might get it. Hey. Michael Strahan needs an asterisk next to his because Brett Favre fell on purpose for him to get it. <laughs> That's a that's a top. Priority. That's a who? Are you saying <laughs> that's a who? No, because I don't disagree with you. But that's just, we could talk about that all day. I don't because, think we can. I said yeah, it. Well, no, because in about at, thirty at seconds the end of the day, but at the end of the day, it's everything else he did. Yeah, but he didn't get twenty two. He got twenty one. <laughs> he got twenty two technically. Mm, <laughs> technically. Twenty two and a half, I think it was. Yeah. Some bullshit. Anyway, any not? Hoop, any hoops? Not the first. Uh, never mind. Brett Favre was a good man. I don't know what happened with that situation with the donation, but he did donate Michael Strait had the sack. So I know he's good on his word. Anyways, take me to horse. Con- uh, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 and any hoosers. Any hoosers. Twenty three to seven in favor of the Niners over the Texans. It can it can't get worse, can it? Oh, but it can. Oh, but it can. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> <coughs> so you got Mills. Mm-hmm. Davis Mills. Davis Mills. Two long neck quarterbacks yeah. this week. Yep. Agreed. Twenty one of thirty two. Okay. A hundred and okay. sixty three yards. And a tutty and a pick. All right. Who cares? Burkhead, yes. sixteen carries, forty seven yards. Who Last cares? breed of the white running back. That's it. That's it. Brandon Cooks, seven receptions, sixty six mm-hmm. yards and a tutty. That's right. I think his numbers would be a lot better if he had a real quarterback, a real team, what a real organization. Mean? Davis Mills is the greatest quarterback of all time. <laughs> I think he needs like Trey one, Lance. Wait, wait, Davis Mills needs like eighty one thousand more yards to tie Tom Brady? Like that. Something like that. Something. It's close. Yeah, yeah. He could do it the next week. Trey Lance. Talk to me. Sixteen of twenty three, two hundred and forty nine yards, two tutties and a pick. Aaron Rodgers, who? Are we talking the future here? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Mitchell, 21 carries, 119 yards, but... you uh, No more snatch and change. 94 yards. You know, I did see a stat, and that's the reason why I brought up the 81,000 yards. Because Drew Horse Beep Lock... I don't know if we can say that. I don't know if it's a quite thing. Quite a that. derogative. It is a thing. Yeah. He is called that. No, no, I'm saying I don't know if it's a thing for us. Oh, for us. Oh, you know what? Stand by. Stand I'm going to take this game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Drew Locke only needs 79,000 more yards to tie Tom Brady. There it is. It's on up. his way to greatness. Um, too bad he lost. 34 yeah. to 13. Oh, I know why he's taking this. Um, this is his ex. No, no. I'm yes. taking this so you can get your Cowboys game next. No, because the Chargers is your ex. Okay. You know what? Then you take it and I'll take the Cowboys game. And you game. still love her. Go ahead. You still love her. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead with it. I know. It's your ex. <laughs> I ain't going to mess with your ex. <laughs> I don't want none of that. <laughs> Go ahead. 34-13 in favor of Herbert and the boys. Herbie. Hey, Drew Locke. 18 of 25, 245 yards and a tutty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Melvin Gordon. Not getting it done. But he is the third. Ten carries. Get his name right. 43 yards. He's he's in third. No, he's in last. I was going to say, I don't know what that means. Uh, no offense. Six receptions, 92 yards, and a tutty. Okay. But Herbie yes. getting it done. 22 of okay. 31. Right. 237 yards. Right. And two tutties. Right. Austin Eckler coming back finally. 17 mm-hmm. carries, 58 yards, and a tutty. Mm-hmm. Mike Williams. I wouldn't Show call that coming back. back. I'd say. No, I'm saying that he. this was the first game back. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, COVID. that's right, COVID, yeah. Three receptions, 63 yards, and a tutty for old Mike Williams. Getting it done. Okay. Tell me what them girls didn't do. Oh, my goodness. Them girls, the zebras, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking to, did not call a delay game, nor fumble. It was a fumble. 
It was. It was, it was a delay. It game, was a delay game. But I'm not going to say it was on the refs because, you know, Dak did fumble it in the fourth. It's okay. A lot of bad play con. It's okay. Zeke only got the ball eight times. That's a problem. That is a huge problem. Any hoops. The Cowboys did fall 22 to 25. Zebra. Okay. Can we hire the refs full time? But hold on one second. Okay, I your do, second is up. I do right. thank the Cardinals because we sealed that everything has to go through the frozen tundra. Because you were afraid of going to Jerry's okay, We were afraid of nothing. Except for extending hey, Aaron Rodgers. Keeping Aaron Rodgers. Da, na, 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 na. Go back, go. Hey, That's so what right. we're hearing for the rest of the postseason, you know, my I, boy. I hope you get one win, and then I want to I want to be at your house at the NFC Championship game. Hey, come on with it. Yeah. Come on with it. Yep, I'll bring some tissues. It's next year that I'm worried about, my boy. <laughs> and the year after that. And, and that. Year. And that. <laughs> anyway. We have some holes to fill. Yes. <laughs> And we ain't talking about... Here we go. <laughs> so Dak went 24-38, 226 yards, and three touchdowns. Yet all these dumbass Cowboys fans saying he's the problem. This is Kirk Cousins. Shut up. Play call. Defense didn't help this time around. They, they didn't do bad, but there were some key plays that screwed right. over. And then it doesn't help when they when the Cardinals fumbled the ball and it wasn't caught. I'm talking to you, Justin, who had the audacity to say, Oh, your coach is their liability. Mm. Mm. It sounds a lot like Cliff. 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 Really? Ready? 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 Oh, and three. You're gonna tell me that that Kyler's stats at 26, 38 of 38, 263 yards and two touchdowns was just as was was way better. You gonna no, tell me that? Not even, not even a little bit. No, no. Not even so a, bit. a lot of these arguments that he's talking about, and then that the Cowboys haven't been good in my lifetime. Well, you know what? I don't think the, the Cardinals have been good in anybody's mm-hmm. lifetime. Hey, let's just say the Kurt Warner experience was a fluke. Huh? How about been, that? It's been rough. Been rough. It's ben Roethlisberger. That's all I got to say for you Cardinals fans. Okay. All right. Dak had five carries, 20 yards, and Mr. Dalton Schultz, 54 yards, six receptions. Play calling was an issue because Weiser tied in the leading receiver I, with 54 I yards. I just want to say I called it from the start, mm-hmm. not only for you, Justin, but for everyone else at home, I mm-hmm. said, let's not get too excited we on that name Cardinal train. Here. Don't get too excited on that Cardinal train. Cliff is a problem. They will implode. And, and fall and off. Frankly, a cliff. frankly, frankly, I don't see them winning the division. Because if both of them win on Sunday, if the Rams and the Cards win on Sunday, guess who gets it? Yeah, the Rams. Hey, and I can't wait for the cards to go back to Jerry World. I'm just saying. Just saying. It's a problem. Cliff is a problem. Yes. Just when you think you have a team, obviously injuries don't help. I, right. I, I will give you that. Injuries don't help. You don't have D-Hop. You didn't have J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt. Their I believe tackle. James Conner was down. James Conner was down. Their left tackle. So their, yeah, their left tackle. You have problems. I understand. I get that. However, it doesn't help when you have Bozo leading the fucking mm-hmm. charge there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, five foot and nothing. That's Kyler. all I'm saying. Kyler's not the answer. Hot take. Yes. Let's move on. Uh, okay. <laughs> I had a very bad take last or two years, three years ago. I said they should have kept Josh Rosen, built the offensive mm. line. Okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but they should. They still need an offensive oh, line. They didn't never. Okay. Like Go ahead. Take me away. To all. Take me to the beaded city. All right, eighteen to ten in favor of the pointy guys. Yes. <laughs> did we? Did anybody watch this game? I did not. I did Saints care. fans watch this game. I don't even. I don't even think so. Taysom Hill's mother watched this game. I bet you. I bet you. Uh, 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 Cam didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's start with the losing side. Either side, I start with. It doesn't matter because no one cares. Sam Donald, seventeen of twenty-six, one hundred thirty-two yards, and a mistake. Mm-hmm. Hubbard, 17, was him. <laughs> seventeen carries, fifty-five yards in the tutty. Thomas, three receptions, thirty-three yards. Yes. No one cares. Not one person. Taysom Hill, seventeen of twenty-eight, two hundred twenty-two yards mm-hmm. in the tutty. No one cares. Hill, twelve carries, forty-five <laughs> yards. No, no one cares. cares. Michael Callaway, six receptions, ninety. That's yards. actually kind it of It would have been okay if it was a real football game. Yes, yes. But ultimately, no one cares. Take me to Seattle. Okay, no one cares. This is the fight. Of, this is a dog shit fight. <laughs> Russell Wilson slinging that thing 20 29, 236 yards on four touchdowns, like it was the beginning of the season. <laughs> Rashad Penny, 25 carries, 170 yards, and two touchdowns. Thanks, AP. You're the one training with him right now. Yeah, hey, he's, he's you know what he's doing? He's laying down the law. He said, hey, Rashad. Pick a switch out. Pick a switch. 
AP doing hard work over hard there. Work. Thank you for Rashad Penny's performance. Yes, and I bet his kids are very well behaved, and I Same. don't mean that as a joke. I mean that in reality. Yeah. Any hoops. Lay off Swain. that man. Swain. Who? He did have two receptions, 65 yards. That's 65 more than me. That is. Yes. He's saying who, but he knows who Blue Collar is. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> Mr. Boyle. 22 of 37, 262, two touchdowns, and not one. And yeah, not two, two, but three of them things. And then DeAndre Swift had four carries and 32 yards. That hurt my yeah. fantasy team in the worst kind of way. <laughs> in the championship. But Jimmy messed up the league, so we don't still don't know who the champion is. We got week 18 with people being benched. What's going on, IT guy? Way to go. <laughs> and I'm doing that with Guy. <laughs> Among Us St. Brown, right? He's something like that. <laughs> okay. Amon Ra St. Brown. Eight receptions, 111 yards, and one touchdown. New Megatron calling it now. Take me to the fudge. The Green Bay Packers. The number one seed in the NFC Conference. With Mr. Aaron Rodgers leading the way. I'll start with the losing side, though. Because, Kirk, you love your cousins. There was a few quarterbacks in this game. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember the other guy, frankly. Ken he was only Mon? in a couple of series. Helen Mon? Something like that. Yeah. Mannion. Mannion. 22-36, yards and a tutty. Uh, also, also led the rushing corps mm-hmm. with 14 yards on yes. two carries. And Justin, Justin Jefferson. Oh, he was getting lit up. Oh, JJ. Oh, he was getting yeah, lit the, up. Most of his yards were towards the end of the game. Didn't matter anymore, but a and it was have, across the middle of the field while right. getting a helmet to his back. Right, yeah, well, way to hang tough, way to fight. Six receptions, 58 yards. Let's go to the champs, huh? Aaron Rodgers. First of all, Aaron, I'm on your side. Uh, dude's a bum. You are having an MVP season, uh, but I digress. I'll move on to that. Immunized, yeah, MVP immunized. season. That's right. Aaron Rodgers, 29 of 38, 288 yards, and two tutties. Aaron Jones, eight carries, 76 yards. And Tay, let me tell you something about Devontae Adams, 11 receptions, 136 yards, and a tutty. Well, boys, we had ourselves a night, and we locked up the conference. Let's go. To Pittsburgh. To Pittsburgh, where it's all sad. Yes, <laughs> everything is sad. Fun fact, Ben Roethlisberger, early this offseason, uh, a story came out saying he changed his life, he's going to church, and he's no longer jacking off. Okay. Word for word. That's really, that was really that, sad. That, that really, and that really happened. Okay. Um, maybe he needs to get that arm strength back, because it wouldn't be fun if this is how, you know? If this is how you have It's like, like a like a floppy noodle, man. Like, shit, dude. I would hate life. 26 of 14. He went 24 of 46. Uh, 123 yards, one touchdown, one pick at his last game at Heinz Field. Uh, he left it all on the field, and there wasn't much of it left in the tank. Just like anyway. Yes. Najee Harris, 28 carries, 188 yards, and one touchdown. And Ray Wright McLeod. Four receptions, 35 yards. And then Baker, I hate you so damn much, Mayfield. Because I bet on you. I bet on Big Ben. Because <laughs> you like abstinence. Hey, I won. You like abstinence. And it put me up one. Yeah, it did not put up Big Ben. He can't get up. That's his. that's his excuse. He didn't quit. He just had to forfeit. The, the good old <laughs> playing. Anyways, Baker went 16 to 38, 185 yards, four, uh, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, what I was talking about, four. He went four for 11 to start off the game. Mm. You got to love it. Nick Chubb, something Ben Roethlisberger can't get. 12 carries, 58 yards. And Donovan Peoples-Jones with three receptions, 76 yards. And just a whole Peoples lot of nobody receiver. gives a damn. Anyways, let's talk about somebody who did give a damn. Go ahead and lead us off with your... Blue-collar workhorse of the week. Is? I'm going to tell you right now, because I already know who you're picking. I'm picking another one. Najee Harris, okay. 28 carries, 188 yards, one tutty, and one, count them one, hell of a stand. <clears throat> bitch slapped him on national television. Yes. Who you got? I got the one obvious. I got the obvious one. I'm sorry, I picked the low-hanging fruit. It's Jamar Chase. 
11 receptions, 266 yards, and three touchdowns. Huge game. A day. 50 some fantasy points. <laughs> I'd also like to just go on record and say I called it from week one. The Bengals are winning the division. Yes, you and did. And look what happened. Yes, you did. Now, let's move it on to your FHC and that is insurance on liability, liability of, of the week. week. My FHC liability mm. of the week is Mike Neck Glennon. Mm. 4 of 11, 24 yards, 2 interceptions, and 1 fumble. He needs to policy for a policy yeah, a couple weeks Chris. ago. Yes. Also, mm-hmm. if you go to our Instagram, at Blue Collar Sports Talk, you will see the video Mark called the Cincinnati Bengals winning the division. Mm-hmm. They it had happened. a losing record when I posted it that. It happened. Go ahead and All tell right. me about your FHC liability of the week. Who needs to call Chris? You know, uh, I'm going to tell you right now. He needs you got to call two Chris. or you got one? I only got one. Okay, go ahead. He needs to call Chris. You know when you talk some shit and you wish you didn't? Happens. And you want to you open mouth, insert foot? Right, right, right. Right. Well, I got something a little story but, but for you. But usually that happens afterwards. Right. No, super agree. However, this man that I'm about to name from Chicago, which will make a whole lot more sense here in a couple of minutes. Okay. Did he okay. murder somebody? How? No. Okay, well, he now murdered, we're, he now murdered we're his career. Okay, okay, okay. now we back okay. in. Just so everybody knows, he is eligible to be a voter for MVP and things like that for the NFL. And we're not? And well, it's because the NFL isn't too smart. They don't want to hire us. Exactly, no fun. <laughs> I will tell you this. This man's name is Hub Arkush. What? Okay. Hub Arkush. Okay. But I'll tell you right now. He said that Aaron Rodgers is a jerk the way he punished the organization, the fan base, and the teammates for how he acted this offseason. Now, correct me if Ooh, I am wrong. Off season. Was he playing correct in the offseason? Correct me if I'm wrong. Wait a second. I got a good point here. Make a point. Not only did Aaron and the organization make, make amends, but they're, they're, they're talking possible staying next year of Aaron right. Rodgers right. because of the amends that have been made, right. because of the steps that have been taken. Right. Aaron was heard. Right. It was received and vice versa. Okay. Okay. Not only that, but the fans never stopped loving him. Okay. The majority. There were a few out there. Right. And his teammates agreed with him. Right. So who was he a jerk to for being honest? Right. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Mark... That doesn't have anything to do with MVP. That is why Hub is the liability of the week right there. Full circle. How are Bitches. you going to not hey, give him the nod? Right here. Full circle. Right there. So, once again, Hub, you're my liability of the week. Get better, my man. Spell that for me. Call Chris and get a policy. H-U-B. Oh, that's what I thought. A-R-K-U-S-H. K. Okay. I'm assuming it's his first and last name at Gmail because nobody would have fucking came up with that. Right, right. And uh, we'll be talking to you. Yes, yes. Join the show. <laughs> Defend your case because there is none. Stand by it. But let's move forward. We got some good news. We got some great news. Great news? Heavenly news. We have an extra show this week. Yes. And Why it is you tomorrow. Why don't you lead it off and tell me what's going to happen at 6 p.m. tomorrow night. On Facebook Live as well. So I was on Tiki Talkie before Blue Collar Sports, and we'll we'll do a. I think after this interview, maybe a maybe a Monday show, maybe a Sunday show about the origins of Blue Collar. Yeah, I, I agree. But before Blue Collar, I was on the Tiki Talkie, and I get distracted easily, right? Everybody does on the Tiki Talkie. On the internet in yeah. general. And I was watching some things, and I just got amused by cornhole. Oh, I was like, it. oh man, this dude's love this dude's videos. a beast. Love those videos. Okay. I went and I clicked on his profile to give him a follow. He had he had eighty thousand followers when I followed him. Ooh. Ooh, all right, state champ, two time. Okay, cool. Hit the follow button. Now he's up to a hundred and four of them things. And I'm talking at Mr. Real Drew a Brown, two time cornhole champ, American Cornhole League, a pu- 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 pro. Whoa. We'll be joining the show Thursday, 6 o'clock our time. Maybe teaching some skills of the bags. I got, uh, hey, I got a, I got a special prop for tomorrow. That's what I'm talking Not about. Not even you know about it. Okay. It's a surprise yeah, for right, everybody. Is the table? No, yeah. even better. Okay, okay. Even better. He's going to be on. He's going to be talking about his story, his journey, and uh, spoiler alert. Two championships. Championships. Spoiler alert. TV is looking to sign a deal with the Cornhole Pro League. Go ahead and, uh, wait a second, do you hear something? Hmm. 
extra show, extra show, extra show. And you got it, America. Friday at four, five, 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 five at an extra hour. <laughs> at the thumb. <laughs> yes, at that. So, I know what you're thinking, right? Oh, man, that's amazing. Who do you got next? Oh, this person is amazing. Okay. Um, the Florida Stingray football team, okay. C-E-O. I know okay. those letters. Reach, those are important reach letters. Reached out to me. Reach out to me. Us, the, the, on the, on the uh, interwebs. Yeah, yeah. Reach out to the blue yes. collar. On the interwebs. The wee hours of the morning of the newest of years. R-2-53. Yeah. Letting us know he wants to be on the show. And we are just... Impressed yes. with his resume. Yes. All right. Is that, is that it? it? No, it is, no, not, it is it. not it. So he's the CEO of the Florida Steam Race. Also, he has great big plans for that franchise. He's going to talk about it with us tomorrow. And he's also featured in a book called Pulling Each Other Along. What? Let me let me tell you all jokes aside, folks. What an amazing, empowering story. We've only read a chapter so far. We were we, we were are, gifted his we, chapter. Yeah, yeah, we were gifted his chapter. We were also gifted his book. We are waiting on that in the mail as we speak. Um, amazing stories, amazing triumphs, amazing empowering experiences, folks. We cannot wait. Once again, that'll be Friday at yes, 5 p.m. Five. We will sit down with Mr. J. Lawrence. Once again, we told you folks we knew a better, better Lawrence, Lawrence in Florida. Florida. And we found him. No, he found us. Yes. And we are so excited for the next two shows. Us? Oh, on the, the interwebs on of the, the Blue Collar. On the Blue Facebook. Collar Sports Talk. Hey, on folks, Facebook. We did it, and we are just more excited for you know our next two shows. And you know what? Thanks for talking some shit. We with talk us. some shit, yeah. Blue Collar Sports Talk on Facebook, mm-hmm. on YouTube, on the Inst of a Gram, and, and the Tiki, tiki Talk. The old Tiki Talk. That's what I'm talking about. We talk some shit. We did talk some shit, folks. You have a good night. See you tomorrow.